Hello to all. Today we will be discussing some MCQs based on the endocrine system. The first question is the steroid hormones have steroid hormones. Now they have only the cell surface receptors. They are lipophobic. They have receptors within the nucleus or are produced by only the adrenal cortex. So let me explain you that hormones are basically of two types. water soluble hormones and lipid soluble hormones okay so the receptors for the water soluble hormones are actually present on the surface of the cell membrane and the receptors for the lipid soluble hormones such as the steroids are actually present inside the nucleus okay so when we study the hormone action we study the hormone action at two levels in the at the cell membrane level and inside the cell okay so you must know that steroid hormones are of lipid nature and their receptors will be never found on the cell surface their receptors will be found within the nucleus so we can search the option and that is the option number third that steroid hormones have the receptors within the nucleus steroid hormones are not having the receptors on the surface they are having the receptors within the nucleus within the nucleus and nucleus is present in the cell so the answer for the first question will be c that is they have receptors within the nucleus okay now coming to the question number 2 that one of the following is a pheromone now what is a pheromone pheromone hormones are not secreted by the endocrine glands okay they are volatile hormones and there are many organisms which secretes the pheromone to attract the opposite sex okay now one of the following is a pheromone so bombicol is bombicol a pheromone so yes bombicol is a pheromone and it is secreted by the silk moth okay civetone civetone is also a pheromone and it is secreted by the cat gerardiol gerardiol is also a pheromone and it is secreted by the honey bee and the fourth option is all so we can say that all the three options that is the bombicol the civetone and the gerardiol all are the pheromones so we can say that the answer is b for the question number 2 now coming to the question number 3 carbohydrate metabolism is governed by so carbohydrate metabolism is governed by number 1 thyroxine do the thyroxine hormone are actually controlling the carbohydrate metabolism so of course yes why because the thyroxine hormone is actually concerned with the metabolism it is concerned with the metabolism of the carbohydrate fat and the protein so definitely thyroxine hormone is related with the carbohydrate metabolism now next some hormones are more given are they also associated with the carbohydrate metabolism let's see insulin as we know very well that insulin is secreted by the beta cells of the islets of the langerhans which are found in the pancreas now insulin is actually regulating the sugar in the body okay insulin reduces the sugar level in the blood and what is sugar carbohydrate so again the insulin is also associated with the carbohydrate metabolism glucocorticoids we know very well that adrenal cortex okay adrenal cortex is actually secreting the glucocorticoids and glucocorticoids are related with the sugar okay insulin is actually reducing the sugar level glucocorticoids are increasing the sugar level again the sugar is carbohydrate so definitely we can say that thyroxine insulin glucocorticoids all are concerned with the carbohydrate metabolism so the option will be all so the answer for the third question will be b okay now coming to the question number 4 which of the following does not secrete any hormone does not secrete any hormone number 1 testes definitely we know very well that testes is the primary sex organs of the male and the testes release the androgen that is the testosterone hormone so definitely they are secreting the hormone we have to choose out of the following we have to choose that which do not secrete any hormone so testes is secreting testosterone hormone spleen now spleen is present below the stomach 
and it is not not at all secreting any hormone stomach stomach is definitely releasing the hormone there is a hormone present in the stomach known as the gastrin hormone and the fourth one is the intestine intestine also releases certain hormone such as the duocrinin such as the villicrinin such as the secretin okay such as the cholecystokinin all these are the hormones found in the intestine so we have, we have to choose that which of the following do not secrete any hormone so option number b is correct spleen does not secrete any hormone so question number 4 is having the answer b okay spleen now the question number 5 sertoli cells are regulated by pituitary hormone known as okay means which pituitary hormone is actually regulating the regulating the sertoli cells so the sertoli cells are regulated by which pituitary hormone so prolactin is a pituitary hormone lh is a pituitary hormone fsh is a pituitary hormone and gh is also pituitary hormone so out of the following four pituitary hormones we have to select that hormone which is actually regulating the sertoli cell you must know that where the sertoli cells are found in the we must know that in the testes what are present seminiferous tubules are present and if we see the section of the seminiferous tubules then in the seminiferous tubules two cells are found one are the big size and another are the small size the big cells are called as the sertoli cells and the small cells are called as the spermatogonia cells spermatogonia cells forms the sperm and the sertoli cells actually are the nut cells which provide nutrition to the developing sperm so always remember that sertoli cells are regulated by a hormone known as the fsh they are actually regulated by fsh so the answer for the question number 5th will be c that is the fsh now metamorphosis in tetpole can be increased by the treatment of water with as you know very well that tetpole is the larva of frog whenever the metamorphosis occur then the tetpole larva is converted into an adult frog okay but you must remember if there is deficiency if there is deficiency in if there is any deficiency in the water right of the iodine then the then the uh, tetpole larva will remain tetpole larva only and it will be not able to metamorphose into the adult frog so if we want to convert the tetpole larva or if we want to metamorphose the tetpole larva into an adult frog then the water must be treated with the iodine water must be treated with iodine so nacl thyroxine iodine gh so it must be treated with iodine so question number 6 is having the answer c that is the iodine okay and question number 7 one molecule of insulin contains 30 amino acid 41 amino acid 51 amino acid and 70 amino, uh, 70 amino acid okay so you must know that whenever we study the structure of the insulin molecule you must know that insulin molecule is having two chains a molecule of insulin is having two chains okay two chains made up of the amino acids one chain is known as the chain a another is known as the chain b they are also called as alpha or beta chain and always remember that insulin molecule is having total 51 amino acid and the chain a out of that chain a is having the 21 amino acid and the chain b is having the 30 amino acids okay and 21 plus 30 is equal to 51 and both the chains of the insulin chain a and chain b of the insulin are joined together with the help of the disulfide bond so here is the answer 51 amino acid so the answer of the question number 7 must be c that is the 51 amino acid so dear student these were the mcqs important mcqs based on the endocrine system which will be very important for your medical entrance examinations keep watching my videos we will be coming soon with few more videos based on mcqs as well as on the theories please like and share my video and if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take it